One of the best parts of Fallout New Vegas is the vast amount of items that we can find around the Mojave. Sometimes you can come across things that you didn't know were in the game, or find unique variants of stuff that you've seen hundreds of times before. One of my favorite things to do is to find rare items during my playthroughs and store them at my player house. Most of the time, I will never see them again, but I like collecting things around the wasteland. That led me to look into one of the rarest hats in the game, the beret. Now granted, we can see the standard green beret emblazoned with the NCR logo all over the Mojave, but it can be a little tricky to get our hands on one for ourselves. One of the easiest ways I have found is looting one from the NCR deserter Layla at the Vicky and Vance Casino. It's one of the only ways to get one without stealing and it's an easy battle. Of course, one could nuke the Long 15 and go fight Royez for his, but that seems like a massive undertaking for such a small reward. There is one beret that we can find in the game world, and though it does count as stealing, we can get it without getting discovered easily. Inside the ruined store in Freeside, where Kieran is giving out supplies and food to NCR citizens, we can find a duffel bag in a small back room. This is the only place we can find the beret without it being on someone's person in all of New Vegas. One of the reasons this could be is the way the hat acts in the game world. If we drop one, we can see it's incredibly skinny and tends to bounce around a lot more than other objects do. It also likes to be placed standing straight up instead of lying down as one would expect, so perhaps we can thank some janky physics for why we can't find many of these berets in the wasteland. Get fucked.